hey guys so today i am going to talk about a very interesting topic that is azure authentication that uh, here i am going to use my angular application as a client application and azure as uh, and asp.net core application as a api as an api and i am going to authenticate both of them using azure active directory so let's get started so right now i have an application with me which is an angular application and it is getting authenticated with a uh, web api as you can see my api is returning output to me here and uh, it is simply uh, when i'm executing it it is returning api uh, it is returning data from my api and right now i don't have any authentication implemented on it so uh, now i'm going to add authentication in this api so let's get started so let's uh, go to azure first of all and perform some basic steps there so here i will uh, go to my azure active directory and uh, i will uh, do some registrations here and uh, here uh, i will go to app registrations and uh, i will do a new registration here so uh, i would request to you all here to please please pay attention here on the steps that i am performing the kind of registrations the kind of entries that i am making here because i have seen people making uh, minor mistakes in these entries and face a lot of trouble when their application lands into execution state so please pay attention uh, here i am going to give it a name that is angular demo Auth. I am going to select multi-tenant so that it can be used by uh, other tenants as well. I am going to select web here. We need a redirect URI because we want our application to land into a URL when once it is authenticated. So this is going to be my redirect URI. Let me register it. Now I'll go to authentication. Here I can see my redirect URI and I will select these options. Access. Okay. Now I'll save it. So guys, here after registration, I have some really important entries with me that, that are uh, client ID and that are client ID and directory ID. So I'm going to make a note of them here in Notepad. These are, ang this is Angular. Let me note the client ID. Uh, Tenant ID will be same throughout the Azure part for me. Still, I'll make a note of it. Okay, so I think we are done with the Angular part. Now uh, we are going to do our one do one more registration for our API part. So same steps: Angular Active Directory, App Registrations, New Registration, Backend API, Auth multi-tenant no redirect URI required here because this is a backend application so let's make a note of this application ID also API ID here okay so now we have we are going to uh, click on expose an api because we want this application to be uh, accessed by our client so we have to expose it by adding a scope here so let's add a scope this is uh, the scope we are creating let's give it a name here let me make it a small case or read access would be good read access Read access description description. Okay, so we have the scope ready with us. Let's make a note of this scope also. Yes. 
so now we are going to add our client application in this scope so let's add a client ID which we co copied in our previous step we want this client ID to be accessed with this scope we just created so we have added the application okay so guys we are done with the Azure part now um, let's try to lock up our application our API basically with the bearer authentication token so for that we need to install a new get package yeah here it is Microsoft ASP.NET Core authentication let's install this version I am going to install a bit older version because I am working on older .NET part so I would say uh, please don't worry about the code and focus on the entries that I am making here code I will share with you all um, in my github repository so that you can access it and share your thoughts on the improvements that I can make with it so I think our package is installed now so let's do the code changes here I'm going to add so here we need to add this line of code we are basically making our web API to accept bearer authentication so this is the thing and here we are going to make add the middleware of authentication this is fine we'll make a we'll mark our controller with the authorize attribute and now if I try to execute my application my API basically so you will see that this API is locked now and it is giving 401 which is authorization error so now we need to make some important entries here which we noted down so this is the instance our domain is this so let's get the value of our domain uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Oh, our domain will be the directory this is the domain that we have so primary domain let's paste it here tenant ID will be this see this is the tenant ID client ID will be this and here we are done with the API part now let's go to angular part so in angular here we have to install some let's terminate the existing execution first we have to do some we have to install a package here which is msal angular so now we have to install the msal angular package here now we are going to install the msal package here msal angular package so in the meantime we have to do some entries here the scope uri will be this that we copied the api scope uh, this is the scope uri tenant id would be as i told you previously the same so this is the tenant ID 
and this is our client ID for the front-end application that we have registered so this is the client ID okay let's do some coding now so what I am going to do now is here okay I already had it so this is my service okay now I'm going to add my basic code here as you can see here in the code I have created uh, a user agent application which is uh, making the authentication call you can get the code very easily it's quite easy code we have to call the access token we are using MSL um, MSL angular library to get the tokens and everything the coding part is uh, quite simple for this so I'll share the uh, link of the code with you all uh, in the description box so that you can take a look at it it is a sim very simple code we are creating a user agent application and we are providing the basic details that we have uh, entered in the environment uh, file environment.ts file so yeah Next, I'm going to add some roots here so routing code is this so it is same as previous code the only thing that I have added is I have uh, imported the MSL guard here and I have added the guards in the roots array here next I am going to do changes in app.module.ts so here you can see I will be adding MSL imports uh, import of MSL module I have done already here I have added the mapping of environment based URL in scope URI here I am defining my client ID my authority and everything which I have defined in my environment variable so uh, I share the code with you so that uh, things are quite uh, understandable uh, but next I am going to generate a data service okay so we have it already with us in this data service we have uh, done a very basic thing okay we have the data service uh, next thing we are going to do is we are going to generate a data service we have it already okay now we are going to do some changes with our data service that we had already here we are making the call to our API so we have to do this call via angular authentication now so as you can see we have the bearer authentication added here and this is the only change that we have with this part so we are good with this also now we are going to do changes with app.component.ts so here it is here we are just going to uh, do them some some basic calls we have created is logged in property here on the basis of which we are going to display the table the basic angular thing and the final thing is app.component.html we are going to make changes in the display of the table according to the login property that we created so let's try to save all and npm start okay so now when I try to execute my angular application here it is asking me for an AD authentication 
I am going to provide a consent here. This is a one time activity. So, so here we can see that our data is now loaded. Um, we, we are getting authenticated with the bearer authentication. So these are the basic steps that we have to follow uh, to do the authentication. Uh, so guys, please let me know if you uh, like my video, please uh, hit, hit like my video and uh, click on the subscribe button so that we can bring some more interesting content related towards your authentication to you all. Thank you very much.